Hello and welcome to the course Mastering Object-Oriented Programming with Python by PEC Publishing. I am Burkhard Meyer and I have 19 years of professional experience working in the software industry. The last five years I've been using Python. I'm the author of several packed video courses and some books. And you can see it here. So hands on Python 3.x GUI programming was my last one. Learn Python programming with games, author of uh, Python by example, Python GUI programming recipes using PyQt5, and Python projects was my first video course with Pact. I'm also the author of two editions of Python GUI programming cookbook in a book format. Here we're gonna show you the course overview, and I hope you'll be excited because I'm covering a lot of stuff, a lot of ground, and I'm sure you can learn a lot. So we'll be diving deeper into object orientation with Python. In section one, while this is solely focused on object oriented programming with the Python programming language, we cover a lot of stuff. So we start with locking, doc strings, and unit testing because that is important. Through five, we're gonna be covering all of these things in this video course. It's a mastering course, so it's not for the absolute beginner, but if you are diligent, you will also learn a lot. So we are starting with logging and some other things. That's from section one. So here it's object oriented. So we create a log level class. Might not be necessary, but that's one way to do it. Import from enum, and then we create our own logging class. We also use the built-in Python logging module, but I show you how to improve on that to customize it to your own needs. So and we run this, it's going to end up in here. And you can see the output is customized, date, time, and so on. You can do whatever you want. That's just the locking part of it. And we also cover unit testing and some other things in section one. So when we unit test, we can see the output here. Unit testing is important. And we also in Eclipse have a graphical user interface to show us the results. So it's kind of cool. That's just the beginning. That's section one. In section two, we will show and we program how we can make objects persistent with Python, meaning serializing them. And we're covering several ways to serialize data using Python, not only the data, but also the classes. So we'll be using different modules we can use from Python. The typical builder one is pickle. And I'm just going to show you the output here. So one result, there's a pickle file here. Another is going to be JSON, very popular. We're going to use PyYaml. That's what it looks like. We use CSV, of course. That's what it looks like, too. And we talk about the limitations and advantages. We use SQLite as a database. We're going to use a database. We use Excel, basically, but you can use it, I think, from open source as well. We use XML. And see this here, we use something called a shelf, which is specific to Python and so on. So this is going to be cool. I'm just showing you the output here, all the files here, which you can download once you purchase this course and study it. All these files will be available for free on the PEC website. So let's move on to section three, Python special methods. We're going to focus on several things. and. One of the things is we're going to use inheritance and we use a superclass, inherit from it. That's typical. We use Python to do that. And I'm going to show you how the syntax, the important syntax, how to initialize the superclass and what it means to use object oriented programming, especially with beautiful language of Python. We cover different things. We also use sysargv to read command line arguments when we run the program from the command line, but there's something better, and I'll show you that. It's a argpass, it's a module that ships with Python. Here you see an error, and that's what we want in this case, because in this case, a program expects some arguments and I'm not passing it in, so that, that's something good. But that, believe me, trust me, it's good. In section four, we'll, be, we'll look into Python collections and properties and covering collections and properties and those are really important and special to python so you can see here we're creating a generator expression and that's just one of several videos and here we're using decorators add class method and add static method and i'll explain how that works 
because it can be a little bit confusing. It's also very powerful. I guess it's confusing because it's powerful. So stay with me. We got lots of videos here, lots of code to cover, a lot of explanations. Towards the end in the last section of five, we finally dive deeper into object oriented programming. Object orientation, it's also called, going back to Bertrand Meyer. Python's great. Python can do everything. It's a wonderful language. And we're going to deep, deep, deeper polymorphism, multiple inheritance, inheritance, and all the goodies of closures as well, multi threading, queues, and so on. So there's a lot that's going on here in this course. I'm sure you can learn a lot. I hope you will learn a lot. I think this is good. So what do you need for this course to get started? Well, of course, you need a computer with an internet connection because we have to download some modules via pip install. I'm using Windows 10, but it's Python, should run on Linux, Mac, everywhere. That's Python. You need some experience with a Python programming language and a basic understanding of programming in general because this is a mastering course, not a beginner course. And as I mentioned here, install Python packages using pip. I hope you know that. It's very simple. Just imagine it. So the course goals, what will you learn here? Mastering object-oriented programming with a Python programming language. Could be English, any language, but Python is the best, in my opinion. We will be using the latest version, Python 3. Right now it's 3.7. I'm starting with class locking, doc strings, unit testing, because it's a foundation you should know. Then we talk about how to save our memory data and class blueprints make them persistent onto the hard drive so we can get them back. We cover Python special methods because there are some special advanced methods we can use. We'll cover collections, properties, and we'll be diving deeper into object orientation with Python. Doesn't have to be Python, but I like Python, so op OP is the same in any language, more or less. And all two topics I'm covering here meant to give you a solid foundation to use object-oriented programming preferable in the Python programming language. You can use it anywhere, but Python rocks. So let's get started.